Hi everyone, today we will look at importing a SQL database uh, query into SQL using a SQL script. And uh, we will do this by importing a SQL file which will contain the instructions to create the database as well as the bottom bit, the database tables with data. We'll have a look at some of the statements in the file and we'll, you know, proceed to run some queries on that in subsequent videos. So let's get started. Um, right now I have uh, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio open. And as you can see, there's no database at the moment. If we open that database, that SQL file, which contains the database query, we select open file. I saved the file into the C drive and it's actually conveniently hopped into the C drive just now. The file is set to all files. If it is set to something else like XML file, you'll notice it disappears. But if you select all files, the file containing the query, the, the SQL Server file, SQL Server query file, will be displayed. Let's double click on it to open the file. That contains uh, all of the queries required to create the database as well as to create the tables and to populate the tables with data. As you can see, uh, for example, one of the queries it contains is it actually has a statement that says um, that the database exists, drop it, and then proceed to create a new database um, containing, with the same name of course, and containing the fields that you can see in here below. The North Wind, Wind database is really available, so if you, you know, you can simply get this from a simple Google query, uh, where you can actually download it. Um, onto your server file, onto your server operating system, and then um, proceed to, to load the file as such as that. Now, what we'll do is we'll click on Execute. That will create the database in the databases drop down over here. And that will wait for this confirmation menu over here. Command success completed successfully. That means it's actually uh, happened. And to view that database, we right click on databases, we click on refresh, and our Northwind database is coming up. So we confirm this by clicking on view from the tables. And as you can see, we have the tables over there. And if we were to uh, right click and, for example, click view the top 200 rows, for example, and there we have it, the employees table with all of the employees, the other tables will contain uh, the, the information relevant to those tables, but the database has simply 